Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you how to build a DICOM send and receive service using the DCMTK store at CU and store at CP. DICOM stands for Digital Imaging and Communication in Medicine. It's an internationally recognized standard. It's widely used in both medical imaging and radiation therapy. It supports this standard, supports image transfer, storage, retrieval, etc., so that images and radiation therapy plans, etc., can be shared along, among different systems, such as the imaging modalities, ultrasound, computed tomography, etc., or treatment delivery systems. How about DICOM RT? DICOM RT stands for DICOM in Radiation Therapy. Similar to the conventional DICOM, which contains the imaging part, DICOM RT additionally has three more data sets the RT structure set, the RT dose, and RT plan. All of this conforms to the DICOM standard. Today, I want to show you how to build a DICOM send and receive services using Store SCU and Store SCP. Store SCU stands for Service Class User. It is used to send DICOM files. And Store SCP stands for Service Class Provider. It is used to receive DICOM files. To install the DCM toolkit, you can go to the website and I will show you in a minute. And also, I want to include here are the support pages of the store SCP use and the store SCU use. And now let's go to the website. So this is the DCM TK website for download the packages. You can either use the packet manager for download for different systems. And in my case, I just go to this executable binaries. I, I strictly uh, straight uh, go ahead and download this 64-bit uh, package for Windows. It contains all the executable and the DLL files. And here is my folder. You can see I have the store SCP executable and the store SCU executable. The store SCP executable does not rely on other DLL files, but the store SCU does need all these DLL files. And these are the minimum files needed for the store SCU executable. And here are the support page um, for how to use the store SCU function. It has a number of options. So for DICOM send and receive, there are three key main parameters. They are the AE title, um, it's called host name, uh, IP address, and the port number. And uh, for store as see you here, there are a number of options. And I will use my example to go through the options I use. But here is the full list. And similarly for store SCP, it's a DICOM storage service. So when this runs, um, it is ready to receive DICOM files. Also, it needs the basic parameters are the port the TCPIP uh, IP address to listen on. Sometimes um, also the AE title is commonly used. And here are all, a list of the comprehensive options. So now let me show you how to run the store SCP service to listen um, at a port so it's ready to be receiving the DICOM files. 
Yes. So um, here is the uh, batch file for store SCP. Uh, so basically, um, it runs the store SCP executable, and I use the following options. The plus XA, meaning it's accept or supported transfer syntax, minus DHL is disable host lookup. So note that here I did not uh, have an AE title um, because I don't have, normally you will have two computers sitting in the same network, such as in hospital settings. But here for today's demo, I am using one computer and I'm just using the local host for send and receive. And therefore, I don't have a title here. For example, the previous line um, I used in my previous product, um, I do have set my AE title. Uh, and this AE title will be used along with the port number and IP address of this computer will be used to set a DICOM node on another network device. And in my example, it was a CT scanner. So you add a DICOM node on the CT scanner, so then the CT scanner can push DICOM files to this computer where the store SCP service is running. So for today's demo purpose, uh, I don't have two computers, and so I modified the um, I modified the command line uh, to just using the local host, and I set my receive directory uh, and the minus su meaning when it received, it will sort the DICOM files using study UID. Another option is supported is you can based on patient name. Minus UF meaning uh, default file names using instance UID and you will see um, in the next few minutes when the file arrives, it will, the name is quite long because it uses the instance UID for each DICOM file. And uh, this is my port number. So now let me just double click this batch file. So now my computer is actually a DICOM listener. Um, when other um, store SCU service send the DICOM files, it will be uh, transferred to this received folder. So here is my receive folder. Right now it's empty. And the next, let me show you the store SCU. This is used to send files. So as I mentioned in this demo, I only have one computer, so I'm sending to the local host instead of the uh, IP address or AE title of my store SCP uh, host and I'm sending to this port number. So this needs to be matched with whatever my port number is listening for the store SCP. And um, I will use this minus V, it will print out the, um, um, the information as it's sending files. You will see the information in a minute. And uh, plus SD, plus R, meaning it's going to scan the directory, and I set the directory here to be sent, and it will be recursive, so any subdirectory under this main directory, it will go through and find DICOM files to send. Minus NH is the no hot if there is error. Um, and I will show you this first thing, and this will print out all the output. And the second line is simply to print out the output to store in a log file. So I will be using this first. And before I send, I want to show you what is the uh, to be sent, uh, what are in my to be sent folder. So I have two cases. Um, so I order each case in the folder. It actually doesn't matter because even you don't have the folder, when it's sent in the receive side, it will order them with the fold with the correct study UID. And in this case, I have all the CT, I have a dose plan, RT structure, and I also intentionally include a 
non-DICOM file. This is uh, simply a text file. So as you will see later, it will give you error. It's not going to be sent. And similarly, for the second case, I have all the CT images. I have those plan structure, and I also have a text file. Uh, additionally, outside the folder, uh, still under the main folder, I have another text file. So now let's first run this. I am going to run in my command window. Enter. And you can see that on the right is my store SU window. It's sending all the files. And on the left is my store SCP window. It's receiving all the files. So the first study is down. It's doing the second study, second folder. And then, and see the, for the text file, the last text file, um, it will say, it will give me an, it will give me an error. And we can review the received files. So before the received files, I will, another thing I want to show you with the uh, store SU and the store SCP, I believe it has all the classes I want to. So this is the die conformance, and I want to show you See, it can um, support the following SOP classes. So what is supporting? It support the CT image storage. It's supporting all those X-ray images, mammography images. And let's also try to find the RT dose, RT structure thing. So these are all the objects it support. Um, let me just try to say plan. See. So here is, this is the RT plan storage, RT dose storage, RT structure set storage. So that's why this DICOM services is able to send not only images, but also the um, RT RT uh, objects. Oh, so let's continue. So next, I just want to quickly uh, mention something about DCMTK in case you uh, are wondering. So the DICOM authority, called official authority, or the DICOM standard, is actually overseen uh, by the NIMA DICOM Standards Committee. Uh, DCMTK, it does not define nor it influence the DICOM policy, um, but the DCMTK toolkit does provide open source DICOM tools and it impl implements um, its features. And if you want to incorporate it into your products, you will pre perform some validation and verification tests Something as I use a DICOM viewer to check the header, I use a planning system, or you can use a number of other systems to verify the those plan uh, structure and even look at their DICOM header, look at, say, the beam information, the dose information. You can do a comparison dose before and after and see if uh, uh, it's identical. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Um, to recap, today we covered how to set up a store SCP uh, for DICOM receive and the store SCU for DICOM send. We also, I briefly mentioned how to uh, verify the results, the accuracy. Um, so like, 
comment and subscribe for more content. See you next time. Bye.